The Werewolf of Tesco Catrick Garrison by Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters in PMR 446. Hello, it's Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform. I'm just trying to track down a horrid data pulse that seems to exist outside Tesco Catrick Garrison that I think I might have found. Is there on GB3IR's frequency? But it's also apparently on the calling channel as well, according to another ham I know. So I'm trying to track it down without looking suspicious. There it is, somewhere in here. It's there. Hmm. I'm sure you can hear that very well. I'm just trying to get off the phone so I don't get run over. But somewhere around the storefront here, if I'm not right on it, there. A distinct howl. I can turn the radio up a bit. Maybe you don't need to. Yeah, so I don't know what's causing that. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments below. Just a little bit more of the noise to add, I think. Seems to be quite strong around here. And it seems to be affecting the APRS frequency as well, that looks about. Yeah, I've no idea what that is. But if anyone does have any ideas... Car going past. If anyone does have any ideas, please leave it in the comments below. But I would like to know what it is. Because that's not really ideal. Okay, so I've just got back in the car and uh, we're on GB3 IR's frequency there. As been proven by that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the calling channel. Which, uh, if I can remember the number for, I think it's 130. If I remember how I programmed this, no it isn't, it's actually, where are we, where are we, 145500, it's 143. Right, so apparently that interference noise is there as well. Now at the moment I don't, don't seem to have a phone holder to put the phone in. Um, so this is going to get quite interesting because I can't hold the phone and drive at the same time. So, I'm going to see what's what with that. Okay. Um, so I've got a speaker down down there. It's a bit rubbish in there. Thought well as well. So oh, there we go. It's just come up now, and it is it's clearly there. That's ten of squelch all the way off. Volume down. Yeah it's, yeah, it's coming up there. You can just hear it just in the background. And that's definitely not this car, and it's definitely not anything else. It is definitely coming. Yeah, you can hear a little howl in the background. So, I'm starting to refer to that as the whales. Oh, that's what it was referred to as by... Uh, local ham Mac M0RIE and I spoke to him at the pub tonight now my 2 meter 70 cms antenna is closest to Tesco the 11 meter antenna is at the back of the, is at the back of the car so I'm just going to rotate that round so I'm gonna, and then I'm going to put the phone into the holder in this fashion he says not doing a very good job of it at all because there is a <coughs> spin pop device on the back of that. Oh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? No, the phone holder's not going to work, unfortunately. So that plan's just gone out the window. So I'm going to have to pop it sort of in front of the radio there. Uh, now, I don't know, I don't know. 
it is going to work, so I've got some blue tack there. Okay, so I'm just about to drive out this car park now. You can see the core of the S meter on the FTM 400. So, what's going to happen is when I drive past this Tesco, that interference is going to come up about, it should be now, right there, just as I go past the front door. So, again, any ideas, leave in the comments below. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres, up the MR446. Let's get to the bottom of the werewolf of Tesco. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 metres and PMR 446.